Uh, this is mostly cornfields and our friends from Greenwood would hate driving down here because it was too far out in the country. Robert Nichols remembers growing up in the town of Bargersville. It's also home to his family's custom cabinet business, Cabinets by Nichols. And now, from their view along 144, they're seeing more traffic, more people at places like Taxman Brewery, and a new massive subdivision being built right next door. If you take a drive here into Old Town, downtown Bargersville, you can see that this is a community rooted in agriculture. But this one small town is now preparing for a big boom in population. New subdivisions going in, hundreds of new homes. Julie Young is the town's director of development. She tells me it's all about finding that balance with the old and new. Really respecting that agriculture and um, preserving that beautiful terrain that we have. While planning ahead for new growth, Young tells me within the town limits they have about 6,000 people. In the last two years, we have approved over 1,000 new lots. Many of those 1,000 new homes will be here. Saddle Club, Morningside, and Aberdeen, all expected to be in construction by next year. Bargersville also just hired a person to look at the economic opportunities along the proposed I-69 and 144 interchange. Well, with all the housing that's, that's happening here in this area, there has to be support for the housing. Dan Theobald's looking to attract much-needed hotels on that side of town as well as future restaurants and shopping to a growing community. And, and if you've watched over the past 20, 30 years how Indianapolis has developed and, and it's, it's a ring by ring and, and Bargersville is the next ring and so it's um, I think it's a very desirable area. Walkability is a big draw so they will charge a fee for new residents to help pay for the new parks. The town already bought 15 acres for the new Kephart Park, and they're creating a master plan for trails connecting neighborhoods to towns. For now, as the town plans ahead, residents can wonder or dream about what they want to see in their changing community. Uh, I'd love to have a Flix Brew House, a movie theater, um, more upscale restaurants, bars, things like that. From Johnson County, Lauren Casey, RTV6.